The Rising Stars Challenge rosters were released today from Team USA, Devin Booker and Malcolm Brogdon, Marquise Chris, Brandon Ingram, uh, Frank the Tank, Jaleel Okafor, D'Angelo Russell, Jonathan Simmons, the aforementioned Spur, Carl Anthony Towns and Miles Turner. And an interesting world squad as well, led by the Joel and Reed. The bomb. Dante Exum, Buddy Heald, Nikola Jokic, Trey Lyles, Emmanuel Moutier, Jamal Murray. Well, Denver Nuggets well represented. The world Christoph squad got, seven, got five seven-foot point guards. It's a big, big team, by the way. DeMontis, man, that, Sabonis, that's and Dario. A, that's a good squad, man. That's a real good squad. And Who got snubbed? Who got snubbed from that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to have that discussion? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> who, got, who got snubbed from we'll the We'll have to do some research on that. Because you know somebody out there is writing that somebody got snubbed from the Rising Stars yeah. Challenge. And you know what? Somebody will probably get hurt. Yeah. And somebody will be added to the roster anyway. Um, but Embiid and Towns, you're talking about guys who could be in the Sunday game playing on the Friday game. Yeah, I, we have to wait and see about Embiid. I think he's a, the guy who has the best opportunity right. in that group. Um, I, actually, I wouldn't mind seeing him twice in that same weekend. That'll blow his minutes restriction, of course. Yeah. I mean, I think we'd be but they're not back the to back. They're not back to but back. It's not back to back. And, um, this, and this is where not having the center oof. position on the all star ballot hurts you because. You know, really, if the center position was on an all-star ballot... He probably would have started. MB will probably be the starting right. center. You know, popular vote, everything else, and deservedly so. He can go from being looked at as the starting center to possibly not being in the yeah. all-star game. Right. Uh, you know, and that's, that's where, you know, I, I, th I think we had the, the one year or the two year where the center position was down. But now the center position is back, it's and it's strong. back in full force. And you may have to look at doing something with, with the center spot again because you got some real guys at the center spot that can play. These guys are all going to be on the same team, uh, sharing court space with each other. The world team is going to be huge, Man. by the way. And the thing about these guys, and we were talking about this before, remember the NBA game, the half court is much bigger now, right? Because back in the day, you didn't guard 28, 30. You didn't right. have to. Right. Now you got to be able to play in space. All three of those guys can play comfortably 20 feet from the basket, mm -hmm. which is scary because you – I, I don't even know if you want a guy like like Embiid on you because the guy that long, even when you beat them yeah. because they have enough lateral quickness and that size and athleticism, they can recover. I mean, yeah. that's that's scary to and think we, about those guys. And same for Sharich and Sabonis. Those are those oh. guys who all can all shoot threes yeah. at 6'10 or, or taller. And they can all make yeah. basketball plays. Right. And when you look at those three guys, I mean, Jokic really can be your point guard yeah, because as, in all his highlights and when you watch him play, you know, he's he's taking it off the glass, bringing it down a la Westbrook or Magic or, or what have you. Embiid and Porzingis, they your two and your three. <laughs> <laughs> you can have you know, a start. Wait, wait. You know what? You can have I'm a serious. starting five yeah, I mean, of they, seven footers. It's too yeah. bad they, they, Ben they, Simmons they hasn't made his three. debut. The oh, Australian man. Ben Simmons uh, well, could be the point six, guard. But he only 6'9". Six, that yeah, would be like on, the biggest yeah, team ever. 6'9", yeah. yeah. point guard, and, and then you just go up from there? I guess under the cupola, Giannis a little too old to be. He's too old. He's got now. He's aged out of the Rising Stars Challenge game. There's the roster once again. For the American team, like any time Carl Anthony Towns takes the floor, NBA game, Rising Stars game, whatever it is, that's good stuff. Yeah, and, he, and he'll be out there playing to win. You guarantee yourself that. There will be no let up in Carl Anthony mm. Towns in the Rising Stars show. And you talk about guys who project to the, to the big game. I would guess that he'll get there about as fast as anybody else in this Rising Stars game. He and Embiid definitely will be candidates in the coming years and for a long time on the Sunday game. This, I can guarantee you, Embiid, B the big cat and Porzingis, they they oh, come they, for Sundays. They yeah. walk into they they come into New Orleans look, and they looking at some of them guys <laughs> on the All Star team and they looking at those guys like, hey man, you got my spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they you, telling their boys, yeah. I'm better than them. Right <laughs> now. But wait a minute. They ain't lying. No, they not. They no, ain't lying. Well, Embiid might make it this year. I mean, knows? Embiid, he ain't lying. When Embiid walk up Embiid in there, he can look at a couple of them guys and be like, dude, I'm, I'm better than you. Porzingis can. Yeah. You know. These guys are special, you know, man. Yeah. The game's Towns in pretty good hands when you think about the young talent. Oh, the young talent in the league. Always a fun one. Freakish. Friday night at All-Star Weekend, February 17th, 9 Eastern time. Sharp, the BBVA Compass Rising Stars Challenge. Saturday night, State Farm All-Stars Saturday night. You're dunking, you're three-point shooting, you're skilling, which is not a word.
And right. Sunday, the 66th NBA All-Star Game at 8 Eastern Time exclusively on TNT.